Hi guys, it's Miss Emily. I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's activity. I would love to see some of your summer bucket list. So send those to me, add it in the comments. I'd love to see what you're looking forward to doing this summer. So today on Tuesdays, we will do STEM activities. And today we're going to do a chlorophyll painting. Now what is chlorophyll? So I went outside and what you're gonna need today, you're gonna need to go outside and pick some sort of leaf from a tree, a plant, have your grownups help you so you're not, you know, picking from a flower or something you're not supposed to. Um, maybe you can walk down the street to a park with your grown-up. If you can get some leaves, you will need those today. And then you'll need a piece of white paper. And I just wrote my name on it, Miss Emily. And then something to write with. I just have a black marker and a metal spoon. It's important that it's metal and not plastic. So that's what you'll need. So chlorophyll painting. What is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is what's in the leaves in a tree, a plant. Um, that releases the pigment, the color from it. So we're gonna be able to color with just something from outside today and make a little painting and it's gonna be super cool. So I'd love for you guys to do this along with me. You can pause it and grab your supplies, come back and do it later. It's gonna be super fun. So I need to switch my camera around so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of my supplies. I went ahead and took all of my leaves off of my stem. You can do that if you want, I think it might be easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold our paper over like a hamburger and crease it real good and open it back up. So we're gonna be making a painting of a tree and our leaves will be like all up in here when they're all colorful. So I'm just gonna draw the trunk of my tree. You can just draw two lines, however you wanna do it. And I'll put a little hole for a squirrel just for fun. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is put our leaves on the top side of one side of the tree and fold our paper back over. So make sure it's creased real good and then we're gonna take our metal spoon and press really hard on the leaves and rub it around. It's gonna take a little bit, but look, you can see the color starting to come through. To do this for as long as you need and we may have to open it up and keep trying and keep going to get the chlorophyll to come out it takes a lot of pressure so if you need your grown-ups to help you you can do that but I see some color coming through let's check it oh we're starting to get some wow okay so now I'm gonna switch to this side and fold it this way to see if we can get more color on the other side. Lots of pressure, press super hard, rub it all around. Keep going. Now let's check it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because I want more color and then we'll come back for the final result. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up taking the leaves, there you can see it, and just not, instead of closing the paper, I just set them here and rubbed them with the spoon on this side and I got a lot more color out. So you might try that. This is how mine turned out. I would have wished, I wish I would have had a little bit more color, but maybe if I had picked more leaves, I'd have more. So I'd love for you guys to try it and send me pictures of how yours turned out. Maybe it's a different kind of tree or bigger leaves, more leaves at work. I'd love to see how yours turned out. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.